Hello, my fellow scientists. Today I want to talk about a program called Beeminder. I've been using it for a couple months now, and I'm, I'm really getting a lot of mileage out of it. So the idea behind Beeminder is that you commit to some specific goal. Maybe you want to walk a certain number of steps today, or you want to make a certain amount of progress on a writing project every day. So you tell Beeminder what you want to do, and you link it to your data. So for instance, if you're trying to walk, you link it to your Fitbit account. If you're trying to do a writing project, you link it to your Google Doc, and it automatically counts up what you've done, and it keeps you on track. Here's the catch. If you don't make your goal, it charges you. And that could be anywhere from a dollar to twenty dollars. And the idea is that instead of just reminding you, it stings you if you don't make your goal. And that's very motivational. A little masochistic, but the fact is it really works. So this year I set a kind of New Year's resolution where I wanted to do five things five days every week. I wanted to make progress on my grants five times a week. I wanted to take a walk or do some kind of workout five days a week. I wanted to write to my collaborators or correspondents five times a week. I wanted to also read scientific literature five times a week. And finally, I wanted to do a meditation five times a week. I've been using this app called Wellzen for that. It's great. It's a lot cheaper than Headspace, and it gets the same kind of job done. So I haven't actually derailed and been charged by Beeminder yet. So far, I've been on track with all my goals. I did have one episode where I did what's called a retro ratchet, which is where you delete a whole bunch of your buffer. So if you do five papers a week, three weeks in a row, you're right on track. But if you then do seven or eight papers in a week, you're now you have a buffer of three and you can delete that buffer by what they call a retro ratchet. I use that and it actually caused me to derail instantaneously and they fixed that immediately. They got it resolved. They have a really nice help staff. So I guess the big question is why would you pay someone to punish you if you don't achieve your goals? They're your goals. Why should they get to hold you to it? And the answer is psychologically, it's just a lot easier to stay motivated if you're being held accountable, even if you have to pay someone to hold you accountable. It's really peculiar. Let me give you an example. I bought this little car when I graduated from college in 2003. It's a 1966 MG Midget, and it takes quite a lot of upkeep. And about five years ago, I ran out of time. I just stopped working on it. And I could make a little progress every week, but I don't have to. And so I don't. And so that car has sat unused for five years now, and I want it to make progress. I want to be able to drive it someday. And if I don't make a little progress every week, that's never going to happen. So setting the goal internally wasn't enough, but setting the goal with Beeminder has me in there working on the car. So it makes me think of The Power of Habit, which is a really nice book about how to establish and maintain healthy habits and why some things work and why some things don't. And I think this is spot on. External accountability and a real consequence if you don't maintain make a huge difference to motivation. And if you get in the habit of doing something every day for two weeks, it becomes very natural. It just becomes something you do instead of something you have to pump yourself up for. So I really think this is a nice way to kind of get over a motivational hump. I think it's worth trying. If you're interested, check it out. It's beminder.com. Not sponsored. I just thought it was great. So if you like that kind of thing, check us out every week. I use Beeminder to make sure I upload a new video every single week. It's been Peter Allen for the Allen Lab.